Alright guys, welcome back! Um, welcome back to Chateau Let's Play. I promised that we'd eat that meal ticket. But first, we're gonna buy a second meal ticket. Look at that. Um, this is Chateau Let's Play. I'm Lucas, and I'm all alone playing Shovel Knight. Um, uh, this guy, the gastronomer, I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and part on the mess. Oh damn, he rhymes. Do they all rhyme? Um, this game is... Oh, damn. Uh, this game's really charming. What the fuck is that? Is that like an eel leg? Whatever it is, it's delicious. Um, so I spent all of my money on... Goo, on food. Which I shouldn't have done, because I want to get those travel chalices. So, maybe I'll do... Um, you can go through here. And talk to Mona, who I'm doing a painting of right now. Um, it might be done by the time this episode comes out, but maybe not. Um, uh, she's really cool, and you can do this game for 100 gold, where you toss these, uh, things, and you gotta get them to hit the, uh, the, uh, the pedestals here. The pedestals! Uh, Mona's tight. She's in the Plague Knight expansion. She's like Plague Knight's romantic interest. God damn it, I am not doing well. Usually I get, like, almost 300. Um, but... Not today! It's the stress, guys. It's the stress of being watched, you know? Uh, it's, it's tough when you're, when you're being observed with people's peepers, you know? Damn it. I didn't do well. Didn't even break 200. Well, she's impressed and I got the I got the money and the music note. So that's a good way of generating some extra gold in a non-risky way. If you're like almost at the amount and you don't want to play a whole nother stage, just like talk to Mona and play her game a little bit. Um the uh Truffle Chalice is 1500 and I want at least one before going to the next area so i think i will turn in this for sure but i think i'll probably do the mona thing again try and beat 200. i think my i think my record's like 315. um i got that recently like oh i had two music notes how did i oh i just got i got one from mona and from the thing great trouble chalice i don't even need to break my score and i'm not gonna bother uh you guys try and break the score that i just think you got when when you play shovel knight if you want to Play Shovel Knight, that is. I don't know if you even want to play Shovel Knight. He's a pretty cool dude, but but you 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 just never know if 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 any if anyone wants to play Shovel Knight. Now I don't know what voice that was. That was. It was like, sort of Timmy from South Park, but also sort of not. This headshot gets happy at us <laughs> for being the Shovel Knight. Um, so, you want to get up here uh, to get that gold and also that music note. And to do so, you have to oppress this milkmaid. Just stand on her. She looks sad when you stand on her. So this game is like tight. Tight, tight, tight! Um, I've been watching Breaking Bad, and that's what, um... Is Badger? Does Badger say that? When he takes a hit? Um, I don't even remember. I think he probably does. But I'm not sure. Um, I've been re-watching Breaking Bad. I have seen it before, but it's very good. Um, so I decided to rewatch it. Because I had lots of free time until I got a job. Which I now, apparently, have. So, exciting! Um, oh, I didn't get Trouple, which I could have gotten. I don't think we're gonna need it, because I've been playing New Game Plus where they don't give you... Um, <laughs> they don't give you chicken ever, which chicken is health in the game. Um, and in this game, in this version, they do give you health. A lot. 
Um, but we'll try and see if we can do the don't get hit version again because I played King Knight a lot because I usually play King Knight stage to just grind for cash. I was trying to get the um, I have 50,000 gold achievement um, pretty recently. And it's tough because when you die, the punishment for dying is money comes off of you. Uh, money like money bags fly off, and if you don't make it back to your previous spot before dying again, um, then you lose the gold. The then more money comes off, and the previous amount of gold gets lost. Um, so it's like uh, you gotta you know it's a it's punishing, but it's not too punishing. So this is one of the checkpoints that you can break. We'll break this one just to show you guys, and then money comes out, more money. So that's that's a that's an interesting mechanic that I'll talk about is um is that the checkpoints have a larger gem and more money in them. Um, if the upcoming area is harder, so if you see a red or a pink checkpoint stage, um, that means that breaking the checkpoint is going to give you more money, but the part in between this checkpoint and the next checkpoint is going to be more difficult. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, if it's gray like these ones, you pretty much don't have to worry about it. In fact, I'll break all of the King Knight ones because I don't think I'm going to die. Um, but my hubris... HUBERUS! Um, maybe may, may get the best of me yet. Um, I had a teacher in high school who had a strong African accent. His name was Toshoni Mobili. But, uh, everyone called him Dr. T, and that's what he asked to be called as well. Um, um, and he was my mythology teacher as well as like English composition and stuff like that. Um, uh, but he would always say, um, Huberus in, um, in his accent. It's hard to... Huberus. Huberus. Um, I can't do it. Yeah, we got a first relic! So we can shoot things now. Which is exciting. We can use magic! Um, my favorite relic in this game is the alchemy coin because I'm a greedy motherfucker. Um, I hope they... I don't know what knight I want them to give. So the knights in this game, the bosses, for the next expansion, um, the bosses are like... The bosses in the game are um, King Knight, Lich Knight, Propeller Knight, um, oop, um, King Knight, Lich Knight, Propeller Knight, um, who else? King Knight, Lich Knight, Propeller Knight, um, uh, uh, Treasure Knight is one. I don't know. I don't know who they all are. Um, King Knight, Lich Knight, King Knight, Lich Knight, Plague Knight, Treasure Knight, King Knight, Lich Knight, Plague Knight, Treasure Knight, Propeller Knight, Black Knight, though he's not technically one of the Order of No Quarter, he works directly for the Enchantress. Um, um, King Knight, Lich Knight, Propeller Knight, Plague Knight. Um, there's the frost one who uses like a snow plow. Uh, but I can't remember his name. Um, Mole Knight. Mole Knight's the one I'm forgetting. Um, pro tip, there's money behind these banners. You just gotta jump and grab it. Usually not a lot, but some. Damn. Yes. No, I got hit. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna kill these guys. Uh, the- these griffins in the backstory don't actually belong to King Knight, they belong to the actual king. So, you shouldn't kill him. But, I did. Because I felt like it. It's sad. Um, the actual king's in the bar, we- we passed him if you go back. Um, if you go back and see him, he sort of like looks all meek and sad. Damn it! I want to get up there. Come down, rats. Rats! Um, typical platforming, um, secrets and puzzles, things are always above and where you don't look. Um, um, that sort of thing. 
Uh, yeah, man, this game, really well polished. Really well, co really cool. Um, Plague Knight expansion, a lot harder. Very different, and great that it's free, so I guess I can't complain. I owned this game before the Plague Knight expansion came out, and I didn't do the Kickstarter or even know about it. Um, though I probably wouldn't have supported it anyway, just because I'm a Poe person. Um, um, but yeah. Uh, so I guess I can't complain that it was a free. But man, Plague Knight's really hard to control. Um, just because I'm in... Um, I, I, I developed a lot of Super Nintendo... Uh, like, bad Super Nintendo platforming habits, where I hold down Y constantly. Um, that's from Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Country games. Because why makes you run, and I think Mario too actually. Uh, why makes you run? So you hold down Y to run. <laughs> um, and when you get good at the platforming game, you pretty much are holding it down the whole game, so you just get in the habit of just holding the button down um, at all times while playing a platforming game. And that doesn't work for Plague Knight, so. That aspect's really cool because it made me sort of unlearn some things to complete some of the stages. I had to, I had to undo. Uh, I had to unlearn some of my uh, my platforming habits, which was really actually a really cool sort of phenomenon. Um, but yeah, uh, you get, you know what, guys? Next time on Chateau Let's Play. Um, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> next time on Chad's Let's Play, I'm going to complete the King Knight stage. Uh, so, yeah. See you guys soon.